This is the eldest daughter of the most weird Adams witch family in this land, Miss Wednesday. And the man who is masterfully assembling these monstrous magic ingredients is Pugsley, the twin brother she has always loved, teasing him with her magic. Alright, I give up. Tell him to drop me off to finish the magic of resurrection. The magic of resurrected? Is this? Yes, it will be something that will help us revive all things and have more friends in this land by giving souls from this magical flower. Huh? Friends? It turned out that long ago, the Adams had always been friends with the people around here. Unfortunately, after they knew the witch's <laughs> identity of the Adams family, <laughs> they thought the family was different and bizarre. So people drove them to this hill. However, both still wish to have more friends like them, so Pugsley was determined to work out the magic of resurrection. And I will revive this sparrow! Huh? Hey! Don't bring these colorful things near me! I'll break out in a rash! Besides, how is it this thing is going to revive all things? Stop dreaming about having friends. <sighs> because no one wants to be friends with witches! But don't you want to have friends like us? I'll prove to you that the magic of this little thing can do it! However, no matter how many times he tried to activate this magic item, huh? the results are not what Pugsley hoped for. Huh? Definitely you just teased me and caused it to hit the ground hard, so it just didn't work. Impossible! There's no way to resurrect things, even if we use magic, so don't read these books or blame me, otherwise... What if I don't? You're gonna punish me? That's right! Huh? Since Wednesday was an arrogant person, she immediately <laughs> shot magic to Pugsley. Pugsley was quick to dodge the uh -huh. shot, but that magic accidentally hit a strange object, made it work, and eventually, the sparrow came back to life. Uh -huh. Both were very surprised to know that this item needed a strong enough amount of lightning to work. Then, Pugsley quickly returned home to show off his accomplishments to his parents. However, they both did not know that there was an eye that had always observed them in the background and plotted a plan in imminent peril. When the Tusers were eager to bring back the item, suddenly, a pack of wolves appeared and attacked them. Wednesday was quick, using a wand to control them. But Pugsley was separated by a wolf. Not only that, while Pugsley tried to resist, he accidentally slipped his hand and caused the precious item to almost fall to the edge. When Pugsley was hanging by a thread, a shadow slid over and supported the wolf's claws for him. Get lost! Pugsley! Are you alright? I'm okay. Thanks to this guy, I was saved. Thank you, but you're a vampire, aren't you? But if you're a vampire, you usually have to live in dangerous high mountains, not live near people like that. Well, I am Vance, a vampire living in the west of this territory. I haven't had enough food to spare these days for the winter, so I was looking for food around here and accidentally saw the two in distress. Huh? So I quickly helped you guys and was injured like this. Seeing Vance hurt, Pugsley took Vance to Adam's home <laughs> in haste, but Wednesday was still skeptical about this guy. When they just arrived home, Pugsley continuously talked about the item and the new friend to their parents. Their parents greatly appreciated Vans and agreed to let Vans live in the castle during the conveyance period. After that, they found out the broken item. However, Wednesday was not only feeling the look of disappointment and sadness from Pugsley, but also Vans. Not only that, Vans also actively offered to help Pugsley remake this item, making the little witch really curious for the purpose of this new enthusiastic friend. Vance is deliberately taking Pugsley's heart and making him just completely pay attention to completing the revival magic and ignore me. I need to talk to Pugsley in case Vance does. However, no matter how Wednesday advised Pugsley about the anomaly of Vance, Pugsley left this out. I understand you appreciate Vance and consider him a friend, hmm. but I have a hunch that huh? Vance is not as good as he seems. Wednesday, sometimes we can't judge things by hunches. You also see Vance's actions and feelings for us. One more thing that, finally, we have a good friend. So please, don't doubt Vance. Then, Pugsley kept going into the room to finish the job. Maybe Pugsley's right. We always wanted to have good friends, 
But now when we had, I was suspicious and overly subjective about the person. While Wednesday was indifferent to Pugsley's words, she suddenly heard the noise inside the room. When Wednesday came in, she saw that her parents and Pugsley were allergic to the magic cake that Vance had made. But she did not understand what was happening. Vance immediately controlled her with colorful glasses, which she feared the most in the words of Pugsley. <laughs> oh, the atoms have finally been knocked out of my hands. <laughs> As it turns out, Vance was an evil vampire, once heard of the Adams family from their freaks in the land, so he had been exploring the family for a long time. Particularly as he witnessed the magic resurrection, Vance decided to approach Pugsley to repair it. And then seized the item to revive his vampire henchman to take over the land. Thank you for this gift, Pugsley. I will use it to revive more friends for you. <laughs> After that, Vance happily left with his item. Meanwhile, Wednesday, who didn't have one in her hand, as well as started to spread all over her body, made her family extremely afraid. <gasps> Sorry, Wednesday. You stubbornly disobeyed me and made this mistake. Suddenly, Pugsley was belching because of eating too much food. The dark smoke was almost full of the room. But this helped Wednesday come up with a way to free it all. <laughs> Pugsley, keep on belching! It will cause that colored glass to be covered in black and help me restore my strength! Pugsley agreed to do, and soon the room was filled with black smoke. Finally, Wednesday recovered her strength, regained her wand, and unleashed magic on everyone. After that, Wednesday decided to go with Pugsley and find Vance to stop his evil plan. They followed the lightning storm down to the village and found out Vance had used the item to revive the henchmen and started to attack the villagers. Wednesday immediately used the wand to control the vampires, but they were not only really strong, but also flying very fast, making her unaware. Even though, Wednesday's wand was broken by a vampire. We can't keep fighting these vampires! They're too many! Yes, we can't have enough time to save the whole people, so we need to find another way. When they were talking, a bolt of lightning hit the big trees nearby and created a fire, causing the vampires to panic away. That's right, Pugsley! These vampires are scared! Fire! fire! However, my wand was broken so it couldn't make a big fire. Then use this. But this is your achievement if we burn it! This is the item that Vans and I made, but it ended up being something which was harmful to our family and people. So I'm willing to pay this price to make up for my sins. Sorry, Pugsley. I can't give you a good friend. But despite not having friends, I hope we stay together and help each other as we huh? do now. Then, with Wednesday's magic ingredients and spells, the frightening fire of magic rushed in the witness of people. Surrounded on four sides by great fire, the vampires panicked and were gradually defeated. Moreover, Vance was almost devoured by the fire when he injured his wings, so he decided to turn into a bat and fled. Eventually, Vance's entire henchmen were destroyed. Finally, the light was brought back to the people. We, we did, did it! it! Are you a witch of the atoms? Although huh? both wanted to hide their identity from the people, but it was impossible. No wonder we've seen you guys so familiar! Moreover, Look how the fire that you two caused defected on everything around here. We... But it was thanks to your fire that we could escape the vampires. So, we thank you very much for saving us, although we chased your families away from the old day. So, we also want to try to be friends with good witches like you. Thank, thank you very much. much! Witnessing the help of their sisters to the people, they decide to make a party to welcome the Adams back to the village. <laughs> then, the journey and challenge with the new friends of the Adams sisters continued. Once upon a time, in a wood, there lived a mother and daughter of a dragon family living happily together. Their lives just passed peacefully in their small cave. The mother dragon had only one child, so she gave all her love to her baby dragon. However, she forbade her to stay near humans, because it was really dangerous. Mom, but I want to go out and see the beautiful world out there. Anna, isn't that why you're injured? 
The world out there is very dangerous. You should wait until you're grown up. Mm. As time went by, the little dragon Anna also grew up. She began to be curious about the outside world. What's behind this forest? What's wrong? Mom, why do humans hate me so much? I didn't do anything to them. Today I went down the mountain. They just saw me. They threw stones to chase me away. Anna, haven't I told you many times? It's dangerous out there. We should just stay here. No, I don't believe that humans are so cruel. It's just that they're afraid because our shapes are different. Mom, is there a way to make me become human? <gasps> Since that day, every day, Anna was like a lost soul. She was desperate to become a human, to discover the beautiful world out there. Dragona couldn't bear to see her daughter like that. She drained her millennial dragon spirit, refining it into a magic gem. Anna, did you call me? Yes, I want to give you this gift. This is my spiritual gem. It will make you become a human. Become a human? Mom, are you telling the truth? Of course. But you have to remember, this gem is my spirit. You can only use it in the morning and must return it to me at night. Do you get it? Yes, I know. Thank you very much. One day, while walking in a town, she met a prince. The two seemed very compatible. Since that day, the two seemed to be stuck together. Every day they met each other early in the morning. Gradually, they developed feelings and fell in love with each other. Huh? Prince, I have to go back. See you tomorrow. Anna, could you stay here a little longer? Mm. Huh? After so many times, the prince began to question Anna about the reason for this. Anna, huh? I have something I want to ask you, but promise me you will tell the truth. Yes, tell me! Why do you have to leave when it's almost evening? What are you hiding from me? Or what suffering do you have? Just tell me! Because huh? of love, mm. Anna told her entire story to the prince. Huh? He showed great mm. sympathy for her plight. <laughs> it's okay, Anna. I love you for who you are not for your origin. It's too late now. Let's go back to your mother. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> My chance has come. I didn't expect to suddenly get such a good deal. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Anna, huh? do you agree to be my wife? I will always protect you, no matter what happens. Prince, I... I... What's wrong? Don't you love me? You don't want to be my wife? No, no. It's just that everything was so unexpected. I want to think about it a little more. Okay, no matter what, I will still wait for you. <laughs> <sighs> Anna, huh? is there something out there that makes you sad? Yes, the other prince proposed to me. Now I don't know what to do. Anna, this is a serious matter. You two are from different worlds. Moreover, you just met him. You need to think carefully and learn more about him. But I... Mm. Huh? Mom! I'm sorry, Mom. I know it's your spirit, but it will soon recover. And this is the true love of my life. <laughs> Huh? 
Diana, calm down. Everything has a solution. I'm so ungrateful. But Prince is the love of my life, hmm. so I have to do it. Hmm. <laughs> Anna, show me the gem. I asked the mage of the kingdom. Finally, I found a way to make you become huh? human without that huh? gem. You? Are you telling the truth? That would be great. Yes, but first, <laughs> give me the gem. The mage told me that he had to research it a bit more. Don't worry about your looks. I said I love you for who you are, didn't I? Mm. <laughs> hmm. huh? Soldier, catch this ugly dragon for me. Prince, you, what are you doing? Ugly baby dragon, do you think I really love you? <laughs> There's no real love in this world. Only power is supreme. Now I have the power of the Millennial Dragon. <laughs> you! You! Huh? Oh no, it's not good. Anna, why are you locked in there? Was that Prince? Mom, I'm sorry for not listening to you. It's dangerous to stay here. Let's run away. Where to run? <laughs> you, you are the Prince who deceived my daughter. It seems so. What are you going to do with me? Your daughter's life is in my hands. Do you see the knives on the cage? What do you want? Easy. Tell me how to use the gem. Mom! I'm very sorry, Mom! <laughs> never. I will never let a bastard like you have that noble power. Is that so? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll tell you, but you must promise to release my daughter. Good. Rest assured, as long as you say it, I will not keep you as your daughter, because you are of no value to me anymore. <laughs> I've become the invincible dragon. Soldiers, let's eliminate both of them. No, no, Prince! You can't do that! Why am I so stupid? Why did I trust him? What should I do now? <laughs> no, Mom, no! I trusted you! Loved you above all else! But you dare to do this to my mother and me! You will have to pay the price! Pay the price? With your meager strength? <laughs> That's ridiculous! Huh? <laughs> Anna! Run! You can't defeat him! Run away! No! I don't believe I can't defeat him! I must take revenge! Damn! I'm not used to the way dragons fly! That nasty dragon! How dare you take advantage of my weakness! Dare to use me! Dare to harm my mother! I will burn you! Get up and continue to fight! With your aura, dare to oppose me, you both will eliminate. Huh? 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 I... I recovered! What? What? How could you? How could... Dragona understood everything. Because of the same bloodline, 
Anna could also absorb the aura of her gem. That's right! Anna, you just need to focus on your insides. Your blood can absorb all the aura from that gem. Anna, do it now! What? What? Yes, Mom! Huh? Ah! No, 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 no way! Why? It's okay. Everything is over. As long as you understand, no matter what, I will always be by your side, taking care of you. That's all. <laughs> Hades has already been known as the one who rules hell, and he is very cruel and strict. Every creature is all afraid of him, and none dares to say his name. However, he is a fateful man. Who could take the heart of a person famous for being cruel like that? Let's find out with Boa Fairy Tales. <laughs> Since the day he started ruling hell, Hades rarely left his place. Hello, my brother. How long haven't we met? Rarely do I see you come here. What's wrong? Oh, tomorrow Olympus will hold a party, and I would like to invite you. You know that I'm not into parties, right? Oh, come on. You've been staying here for a hundred years. You should go out for a change. You must go on behalf of me tomorrow. Didn't give Hades a chance to turn down. Zeus disappeared immediately. <sighs> then Hades had to go to Olympus the next day. Throughout the party, he didn't express any excitement, and he only sat in the garden. Hmm. Joining the party was Persephone. She was the daughter of Demeter, <laughs> the goddess of harvest. Couldn't stand Persephone's beauty. The male gods huh? all tried to talk sweet to her, which bothered Persephone. But with her kind nature, she just smiled and turned them down gently. It took Persephone many efforts to escape the male gods and run to the garden. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. You have really special hair. Can I sit with you? Hmm. Persephone thought that Hades wouldn't answer her because huh? she was bothering him, so she was about to leave. However, Hades suddenly spoke. It's up to you. <laughs> Don't hmm. you like the party? How about you? A beautiful goddess like you should be the party's center. Why did you come here? Hades' huh? question really put Persephone <laughs> off the embarrassment. Huh? I think that I'm not really into parties. The male gods always stick around me, which is so annoying. And I think that a handsome god like you will attract a lot of goddesses, right? Huh? <laughs> Great! You smiled. I thought that I was bothering you. If so, do you want to walk around the earth with me? That's great! Now my mother is having fun inside, so she wouldn't care about me. If I just go for a while, she won't find out about this. Then Hades took Persephone out of Olympus. They walked next <laughs> to the peaceful Styx River. This is the first time I go out without my mother. My mother really loves me, and that's why she never lets me leave her for too long. 
No matter where I go, she just needed to ask the trees. They would tell her where I'm at, and she would go there and take me home. Persephone's <laughs> naivety somewhat touched the hell ruler's heart. Since he wanted to stay with her longer, Hades made a suggestion. If you stay in my hell, your mother will never find out where you're at. Really? I've never been to hell, so I'm curious about this place, but... You're afraid that I won't take you back. In the name of Hades, the god of hell, I swear oh. to the Styx River that I will bring you back safe and sound. After considering it for a while, <laughs> Persephone agreed. Then Hades took her to his hell. Meanwhile in Olympus, Demeter found out that Persephone had left. Not seeing her daughter anywhere, she ran to find her. Did you see my daughter Persephone? I don't know. Hey, Ra, huh? did you see my daughter? I don't know about that. For fear of Hades, no creature <gasps> dares to say his name. Being fearless, Demeter <gasps> destroyed everything where she had just left. Seeing the situation, the Styx God appeared. Please don't be angry, Demeter. I know where your daughter is. Hmm? Tell me quickly. She is in hell. It was Hades who took her there. Hades? He dares to kidnap my daughter? Oh no, he didn't kidnap her. Persephone huh? agreed to go with him, and I saw that Hades didn't have any bad intentions with her. Hell? I can't go there. Maybe Zeus can help me. Demeter returned to Olympus and told Zeus everything. Hmm. 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 <clears throat> Hades, the one who's above other people, one of the three most powerful gods and the worshipped lord of hell. Among the immortal huh? gods, he would be a deserved husband to your daughter. Hmm? <laughs> huh? No, I don't want to. I cannot let my daughter marry a cruel person like Hades and live in a gloomy, dark place like that. Hmm? Hmm? Alright, now I will order Hermes to go there and take Persephone back. Hmm. Following Zeus's order, Hermes quickly went to hell to find Persephone. About Persephone, after talking to Hades, she soon had feelings for him. <laughs> You're absolutely opposite to what people often said. I often heard you are a cruel and strict person, and you are willing to punish anyone who upsets you. Huh? Hmm. But it seems that you are not a person like that. <laughs> then what do you think of me? <laughs> I feel that you're a kind and warm-hearted person. I always have to be cautious with other gods, because they like about me, it's just my appearance. But when I'm with you, I can feel happy and comfortable. <laughs> As they were into talking, Persephone didn't see that there was a pebble under her feet. Huh? Hmm. Then Hermes stepped inside and witnessed hmm? all of that. Hmm. Hello, Hades, the Supreme God! <laughs> Sir, I was ordered by Zeus to come here and take Persephone back to her mother. Can you let me stay a little longer? Then I will return on my own. Goddess Demeter, because she didn't find you anywhere, was so furious that she destroyed all the grass and trees. If you don't return now, I'm afraid that no creature will be able to exist. If I return now, I don't know when I could come back here. Maybe after this time, my mother will become stricter than before. If only I didn't make an oath to Styx River. If you really want to see me, eat these pomegranates. Go, Persephone. Go back to your crying mother, and treat me with the kindness from your heart, as I'm not a layman. 
Hmm. I'm Zeus's brother. When you are here, you will be the queen of many lives and have all the rights that a god has. Whoever hmm? bothers or doesn't care about you will be punished by me hmm. for the rest of their life. On the way back home, Persephone hmm? didn't hesitate to eat six pomegranate seeds because she wanted to return to hell and meet Hades again. When the carriage was about to reach the earth, the thorns from hell seized her and took her back to hell. Couldn't do anything, Hermes returned and told everything to Zeus. After hearing that, hmm. Zeus talked to Hades. Hades, why didn't you let Persephone return? She ate hell's food, so she will forever belong to hell, and she did it deliberately. Persephone, why did you eat hell's food? Yes, mother, I want to return to this place, so I ate six pomegranate seeds. But can you just break the law this time, please? No, hell's law can't be looked down on, and I won't break it. You're god of the gods, why are you deigning to Hades? You could use your power to force Hades to bring back my daughter! We can't upset Hades. He is my brother, so I know how strong he is. He isn't a layman, and I'm not sure that I could defeat him. Then Hermes remembered something. <laughs> he talked to Zeus. Dear Zeus, I remember this. When I came to see Hades to bring Demeter back... Mm? Then Zeus summoned a river god <laughs> to ask about this. I heard that you made an oath to Styx River that you would bring Persephone back to the earth, and the river god here has witnessed that. As a mm -hmm. god, you shouldn't break your promise, because it will affect your prestige. <sighs> In order to fulfill Hades' promise and Hell's law, I have a suggestion. The pomegranate seeds that Persephone ate are equivalent to the months she would stay in hell, which is six, and the other six months she would return to the earth. Is that all right? What do you think about that? Yes, hmm? I'm very happy to stay with you, and my mother in turns. All right, the first six months I will let you stay with your mother, and the last six months you will stay with me in hell. Since then, every time Persephone was on the earth, Demeter <laughs> Goddess was very happy. The trees and flowers kept blossoming, which created spring. And when she returned to hell with Hades, the Goddess was missing her daughter so much that she didn't care about nature, which caused the trees to wither. And that's how autumn and winter were created. Eventually, Hades had his Persephone. But would they lead a happy and peaceful life forever?